customers like things on the go. They want to be listened to and receive instant solutions to their queries. This can often make and break the customer service experience. And all this can be made possible with a great customer engagement platform. Most customer support solutions are too expensive for new startups, and this can mean more lackluster customer service. Being at a disadvantage because of a constrained budget? That's why we created Upsend, a fairly priced all-in-one customer engagement and communication platform designed for startups and small businesses. Imagine the conversation you can achieve if you can engage every visitor with instant chat or messages. Upsend comes packed with a variety of super-powered features like powerful marketing automation, live chat, in-app messages, and a knowledge base with all the useful information for you to engage customers. All of these amazing tools for a crazy affordable price, making it easy to convert your sales and keep your customers satisfied. What are you waiting for? Join the Upsend party today! Do you want to step up the quality of your videos and make them look professional? With Canva, you can. In this video, you'll learn how to control animations in Canva, how to time elements in your videos, and finally, how to zoom in and out of the video timeline. Canva gives you a lot of control over how your elements are animated. Let's select our text and click Animate to view all of the options available. Click on any one of the effects in the panel. This will bring up specific animation features for each effect. Let's try Rise. Here, we can choose whether to animate the text at the start of our scene, at the end, or both. We can adjust the speed of the animation and choose if the text will rise from the top or the bottom. Let's remove our rise animation and test shift. Here, Canva lets you choose how to reveal your text. That could be one character at a time, word by word, or line by line. With the direction arrows, you can set the direction the text comes from. Animation effects are not only for text. You can animate photos, videos, and any other element in your video. Let's animate the video in our scene. With the video selected, select Photo Zoom. Choose In to zoom into the footage and Out to zoom out. And use the Scale slider to adjust the effect. Easy, right? Sometimes you'll need elements in the same scene to animate at different moments. For example, we want our second paragraph to appear after the first one. First of all, check that the two paragraphs are not grouped together. Next, animate your text. Then right-click on it and select Show Timing. Notice the new purple timeline that appeared on the top of your scene? This timeline lets you choose when the element appears in your scene. Simply drag the timeline from the left to have your element appear after a few seconds or drag it from the right to have it disappear before the end of your scene. Pretty easy, right? Down at the bottom, you can find the zoom slider. Moving the slider helps you zoom in and out of the editor. Next to the slider, click the zoom thumbnails icon. This will lock the editor and let you zoom in and out of the timeline using the slider. When you're done, just click the icon again and unlock the editor. With Canva's animation and timing features, you can take your videos to the next level. What are you going to create next? Network RMIT is a place where over 400,000 alumni can come together and connect globally. It's an online platform that bridges the gap between university and industry. Networking can be a chore, but with Network RMIT, you can find classmates, future employers, 
and last year's graduates for help with just about anything. It's a safe and collaborative space to spread your wings, where you can see at a glance if someone is willing to help and in what way, with a powerful and detailed search tool. If you need advice on entering the job market, your next career move, or how to handle a tricky boss, our MIT alumni are there to lend a hand. There's also exclusive access to graduate jobs, and you're the first to know about new internships and research opportunities, both inside our MIT and out. You'll be kept in the loop with local meetups and our MIT social events appearing straight to your feed. And it's all linked to your existing social accounts, which makes networking as simple as joining. Network RMIT, your community connected. ExcelQ is a leader among continuous functional test automation providers and is trusted by Fortune 500 enterprises across industry verticals. ExcelQ's AI-powered codeless test automation platform has proven to achieve three times the productivity and reduce test maintenance by 70%. That translates to over 50% cost savings and enables alignment with your continuous delivery. Most codeless test automation tools out there are oversimplified, taking a narrow view and failing to address real-world complexities, while custom framework approaches quickly get buried in technical debt and are not scalable. So how is ExcelQ different? ExcelQ brings the discipline, flexibility, and power of a conventional code-based setup into a codeless world. Automation-first, no-code capabilities make it easy for testing teams without programming expertise to develop automation in plain, natural English. But ExcelQ's codeless philosophy is not just limited to writing test logic. As a holistic platform, ExcelQ has the depth and scalability to manage the entire quality lifecycle. Easily automate end-to-end -end flows across web, mobile, API, and desktop without writing a single line of code. Effortlessly manage test assets with built-in version management and collaborative source control. Benefit from advanced self-healing capabilities with autonomics and deep learning to quickly adapt to changes. Get visual application models with business process relationship. Enjoy seamless integration with CI CD pipelines in Agile plus DevOps environments. The world is undoubtedly moving towards low-code, no-code, and cloud apps that present their unique set of testing challenges. Our game-changing technology, ExcelQ Live, drives digital assurance across enterprise and vertical industry apps. ExcelQ's platform approach enables live pre-built automation assets to align with each vendor update instantly. And the revolutionary marketplace concept hosts live solutions from software vendors and system integrators to help you find the perfect alignment. Give your testing verifiable acceleration. Sign up for a free trial today. Please Google Bread and Beyond for more videos. Take away your skin, bones, muscles, ligaments, and joints and organs. What remains is an elaborate communication system that allows information to travel throughout the human body. In this Psychedemia episode, I explore the nervous system. What is the function of the nervous system? Our awareness of the world around us is possible because of the nervous system, a network of fibers that transmit neural impulses throughout our body and control both voluntary and involuntary actions. Voluntary actions are activities you purposely do and think about, like running, turning your head, or sitting. Involuntary actions are things you don't even realize are happening, like breathing and digestion. Despite its complexity, these neural impulses within the nervous system can only travel in one direction, either to the brain or away from the brain. Consequently, our body needs two types of nerves. One set of nerves takes information to the brain. These are called afferent or sensory neurons. You can remember this by A or at the brain. Another set of nerves takes information away from the brain to the rest of the body. 
These are called efferent or motor neurons. You can remember this by E or exit the brain. It is important to note that once information reaches the brain or spinal cord, interneurons relay this information to other parts of the brain or back down efferent neurons. What is the difference between the central nervous system and peripheral nervous system? Our nervous system is divided into two categories, the central nervous system and peripheral nervous system. The central nervous system is made up of the brain and spinal cord. Both the brain and spinal cord are encased in bone, i.e. the skull and vertebrae, which signifies the evolutionary importance of the CNS. They are more protected than any other part of the human body. Our brain controls thoughts, emotions, motor function, perception, and organs, while our spinal cord supports communication between the brain and the rest of the body. Any damage to the spinal cord can result in nerve damage, or even worse, paralysis, resulting in a loss of muscle function in part of your body. The second category, or peripheral nervous system, consists of all the nerves in the human body outside of the brain and spinal cord. The peripheral nervous system connects the central nervous system to all the organs and muscles and then relays that information back and forth. The peripheral nervous system is first divided into the somatic system and autonomic system. Our somatic system controls voluntary movements, like kicking a soccer ball or lifting your arm. It receives messages from the motor cortex of the brain. On the other hand, our autonomic system controls automatic or involuntary functions, like digestion, breathing, and heart rate. It also responds to stress and threats from the environment. Check your understanding of the somatic and autonomic nervous system. Pause the video here, read the question, and choose the best answer. The answer is C, somatic. Remember, somatic is too voluntary as autonomic is too involuntary. How does the nervous system help us respond to a perceived threat in the environment? Returning to the diagram, the autonomic system is further divided into two divisions or branches, the sympathetic branch and parasympathetic branch. The sympathetic branch prepares the body for stress and what is known as the fight or flight response. The sympathetic branch sends messages to the rest of the body to prepare for an immediate threat. It dilates the pupils, increases heart rate, speeds up breathing, and generally excites the body. After the threat is perceived to be gone, the parasympathetic branch returns the body to homeostasis, contracting the pupils, lowering the heart rate, slowing breathing, and generally calming the body. As a memory technique, think about a parachute slowly bringing you back down to earth. Lastly, what is a reflex arc? Interestingly, not everything we do as human beings requires thought. We possess certain reflexes, which are involuntary, almost instantaneous movements in response to a stimulus, like pain. After stepping on a nail, for example, sensory neurons reach the spinal cord first, automatically causing your foot to move without thought. Your brain is only aware of this event after the fact. Why, you may ask? because it's faster and aids in our survival. You can thank evolution for this one. This also occurs with temperature, like touching the flame of a candle. Scientists call this neural pathway between sensory, motor, and interneurons a reflex arc. Today, researchers are still uncovering the mysteries of the nervous system, like how to repair nerves after spinal cord injury using stem cells. Researchers are also investigating treatments and cures to various neurological disorders, like multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's disease, Tourette's syndrome, and ALS. Check your understanding of the nervous system. Pause the video here and try to fill in the blanks. If you had any trouble filling in the blanks, rewind the video and continue to review. Thank you.